I was thinking about your emotional health lately. Yes, I was walking around, laying in bed, just doing my life and thinking about how you're doing emotionally. And I want to say that uh, the way the Bible works is it really is there for you so that you can be healthy, have good emotions taking place in your life, no matter the circumstances, especially in these circumstances that really are nobody's fault and certainly out of our control. The 23rd Psalm was written by King David and he wrote that so that he could actually get an anchor in his life reminding himself about who God is in the midst of uncertain times. There are 16 stanzas in the book of Psalms and I wanted to make sure you understood that the way David approached it was in verse 4 if you look there's these four words that are really important and this is the anchor to his emotional strength. And it was this, he said, you are with me. And he said that about God. By the way, I want to remind you, your emotions and my emotions have little to do with the circumstance we're in, but rather who we're with in the circumstance. And God, and what David was saying is that God is in my circumstance and therefore he is my shepherd, I shall not want. All of us know the 23rd Psalm to some degree. I just want to encourage you today, listen, God is so uh, concerned about your life. He loves you so much, not just your spiritual life, or not just areas of your life, but your life, the whole of who you are. So I just want to remind you, hey, listen, your emotions get strengthened through these three things primarily. And let me tell you, number one is to read God's Word. Don't forget Touch Point at South Point. That's an awesome way to get some help every day to make sure your emotions are in check and you have a shepherd. Remember, it's not from our circumstances that we get worried, it's that we're too far away from our shepherd. Then the next one is that you would make sure that you remember God's goodness. He's a good God, he's got a good plan for you and I. And then rely on God's power. And I really like this verse. It's second it's in Second Corinthians chapter one, verse nine. It says Paul was going through all these different things and he said, I thought it was going to be to my demise. He actually said I thought I was going to die. He said, but you know what it was? It was that God was teaching me how to stop relying on myself and start relying on God who can raise the dead. <laughs> Listen to the way that sounds. Stop relying on myself. He was training me on how to stop relying on myself or actually how to have a shepherd. And that by relying on him, he's actually the one who can raise the dead. That means if he can raise a dead person, he can raise a dead marriage. He can raise a dead career. He can raise a dead bank account. He can, God is the one who can raise the dead. And I want you to know, he's the one who is there for you. David said it this way, right? You are with me. You want to say it with me today, would you? Take, let's take this minute and say it with me. My friend, listen. God, you are with me. And he is. He loves you and he is with you. Don't forget to say that today. Get your emotions in check. Watch out for my podcast that comes out every week. It's The Point Podcast. And any way that we can connect, I'm always happy. And I can't wait for us to be together this coming Sunday.